Hi Chris and everybody, that's uh, my name on subscribers, I think it's two or three of you now, um, obviously Rob and the others. Um, I just thought I'd quickly show you the models I've acquired recently, or some of them. I've actually just ordered the uh, Tamiya Spitfire Mark 16, which I got for 74 quid instead of 114, which I'm rather pleased about. That's going to take me the rest of the year, so that'll probably be my last model. <laughs> um, these ones I just bought recently, um, this little Spitfire, um, it's the first squadron service one, that's why I was quite interested in it, got it for free in this um, Airfix, uh, you know, the Airfix kit club where you save up 12, uh, it's a lovely little kit that, um, quickly open it for you. It looks like a fairly new tool. Uh, you can see there, the, that's the Mark 1 version, which I won't do. I'm going to do the first one because I've got the last Mark 24, so it's quite nice to have the different scale, obviously, the 24 is a bit higher, but there you go. That's the black and white should be fun. I'm going to do it like, like it is on the construction. Um, quite a detailed cockpit. Series 2 by the way. And pretty straightforward once you've done the cockpit really. Quite nice um, mouldings. I did take it out of the bag. You know what it's like, as soon as you get one you've got to see what's inside. Um, see if we can get the screws. See the moldings are really nice on this, they're quite refined. The um, panel lines, as you can call them. Three sprues. That's got a good angle for there, you can see there. I like the fact that the uh, ailerons kind of sharp well because the wings are moulded that way. I really like that. So that's that one. Then I got the, uh, the new Hurricane tooling. Um, get an early one. Um, this is the series one of the series two, which had the two propeller blades and the um, these. Uh, let me see if I can get in enough to see the wings. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, that's obviously the uh, fabric wings. I. Uh, I gather they could this. Or they did this for a few hundred of the Hurricanes, so possibly they could have put a three propeller. You just get the three propeller on this version. It's a Series One, and the one set of markings, seventy-six pounds. I got that one just so I qualify for my second free kit this year. And there's a really basic. I won't open this one. It's a really basic Measure Smith One Hundred Nine. Even the um, even the uh, exhausts are moulded in. This should be an easy kit to make, and I think it. Looks quite nice, the panel lines are pretty good. Uh, you know me, anything that's easier for me, I'm happy to buy, to make. And then there's this new Blenheim, which is absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna see if I can show you that a bit better. This is the Mark 1, I was gonna wait for the Mark 4, but this for 12 pounds, so. It's called Chatham Racing, they're not really model specialists, but they, they do scale electric and things, but they have discounts, really good discounts. And often when I see it, I go for it. Um, two Hurricanes, one, oh, sorry, Blenheims. It's the British uh, in uh, Malaysia. They soon got rid of them out of Europe because they're pretty obviously as soon as they came to service. And there's the Greek markings. And they've got the start of this CAD thing that they're doing on the construction sheets. Make it really easy. I love the look of this copy. I know Rob. Had murderous trouble with the cockpit on the old Mark 4 that I did as a kid as well. I think I didn't realise how bad it was when I was a kid. Bliss of being a child, you don't really worry about the detail. Yeah, that makes up to a lovely kit. Look at that, they've even, uh, which Naughty Tammy I forgot to do on their bow fighter, by these three um, struts that are inside the engine. Very noticeable. I noticed that when I was in the Bowfighter in the RAF Museum and I thought, oh dear, Tamiya, what are you like? I forgot to put one on. Um, 
There you go, you've got the two turrets there. Obviously the Mark IV is on its way very shortly. I might get that one too, make the night fighter version. Gives you an excuse to have two of the same plane when you haven't got room for any more. Um, I have taken them out. Very, very fine mouldings on these. Um, let's see. I don't want to move the camera around, I'm putting on a tripod today because uh, it was so shaky last time and then they got rid of the worst of it. A good old um, Google, but there you can see, probably very fine, probably better for airbrushing really now. Obviously been listening to all the uh, airbrushing fanatics and uh, trying to keep everyone happy. It's, it's probably not that difficult to build, it's really well engineered. It's going to take quite a while, there's quite a lot of parts on it. It's the main parts there, that's the wings and then there's the front crop here which they've moulded separately and they've got a nice bomb bay there. And got the detailed engine parts, bombs there. An option for those little small bombs as well. There's all the nice undercarriage and good old airfix let you oh there's even got the uh sorry I didn't catch that Let's see there you go um all the uh, piping for the front engines, you know, for the car. Radial engines, obviously, Mercury's. And um, I've done a little bit of scratch building on those kits that I started when I used to work in a fairly quiet hospital by today's standards. Um, started these about 25 years ago and they've been hiding behind a shelf ready to be thrown away, but I think I might be able to rescue them now. There's the uh, um, scratch built this. It's a little uh, bit to hold the canopy that some I've managed to get from Revel. And uh, I'll get the holes for that and put some little wires in so that looks a bit better on the bomb. I'd already painted all the wheels and everything. Um, I'm thinking of putting some uh, little tubes in here. Um, that's bizarre, isn't it? I'll have to cut that off because they've got molded a gun on there. I'm really keen on this model at all, but um, just sending it all down there because it's overpainted. I did this on night shifts, can you believe? I actually got paid to make my models. <laughs> uh, we were quiet in the hospital. Unfortunately, it's shut down now. There's no reason why I've given up this. You can't get work like that anymore, I'm afraid. It's murder now. And here's a little um, Raiden that's uh, having major problems with the underside. But, so I've super glued it now and it's nice and smooth and I'll still work on that. Uh, this is a Tamiya paint. It's one of their early ones. It's horrible stuff for brushing. Maybe I'll have to get an airbrush, I don't know. So that's about it really for now. I'm looking forward to this new Tamiya kit. Oh, my battery's gone flat. So best to go now. Bye now.